we are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen... And the offense readies for a first down and 10. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. Got to make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. Shedding, and he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Todd Gurley, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Now gone. Flush to his right. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Do you have one of those charts that tells you to go for two or go for one? I don't. I know you do, but I don't care what the chart says there. You've got to kick it, right? I, I agree totally because somewhere the chart's going to, something's going to pop out of the chart and say, hey, man, just kick the That was a bad here. choice. I regret shape. it, but I think at least I went for it. Points there when they didn't need to. Yeah, try to get a little bit greedy, take the lead in the fourth quarter. Now they still trail by one. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They'll try and run down some clock with Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But Barber's hit. Fumble. He loses the football. A nice little juke. Gonna use the two minute one here as a timeout. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. And the offense now will try to regroup after the sack on second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On third down, Johnson. And he's gonna lose yards. Now we're gonna call a timeout. To his own 18. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Here's Matt Weil now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. Of 38 yards officially, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Golf eluding the pressure right, dumps it off to Gurley, and he's going to be out of bounds but able to take it inside the 40 yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. 
Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Escaping the pressure right. And some room to maneuver. How did he stay on his feet? And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down at the 14. And now the Cardinals are going to use another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Red zone opportunity. Now go. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And out of bounds just shy of the end zone at the one. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here. The reason why I ran it right there is so I can lose a couple yards. Just so when I do do a pass, they don't have the end zone locked down like last time. Take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. tackle but then quickly brought down a four yard pickup not enough fourth down clock now under 30 ticks and running desperation time for golf on four and he is going to go Damn. down back at the 11-yard line. He had three touchdowns already, but won't get a fourth here. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. <sighs> so that happened. Are you kidding me? We couldn't even get the fumble recovery? God. Alright, so I'm going to redo this one. Too bad decisions cost us that game, guys. That was my fault. And now the offense getting set first and ten. Now golf on first down. Oh and my god, Tavon Austin, are you serious? Pass. It falls down incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Flushed out right. He's gonna get this to Austin complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. 
But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. To throw is gone. Over the middle, it hits Austin. And he's going to take Back to Tavon, and we got it. All right, so as we did the error last time, I'm going to actually kick this one. Said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return. He's across the 35 yard line, right around the 36. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. On second down, Johnson. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Play action. It's Palmer. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Suck. Ouch. Coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Matt Weil now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Here's Matt Wild now as he's on to punt for Arizona. This is taken at the 15. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Rams now coming out on the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Now Gurley. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. On first and ten, Golf steps away to his left. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Should have waited just a little bit longer. Time to scramble there at second down. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. On second down, here's Goff. And he almost intercepted. No pool. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Throwing on third. Gone. Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And now the Cardinals going to use another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. 
fresh set of downs here. Goff now looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Here's Goff now on second down. Able to get away. And now running right through it. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. Austin. Now here's a timeout as they will indeed call it with five seconds to go and a chance with a field goal to win the game. So the game here hangs on the right foot of Mason Crosby and the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Second down and just one. Check it. Check it. Whoa, whoa. 60, 60. Out of the gun. Gone. And that is Shit. I was trying to throw that fucking girly. Wrong one. Fuck. No, we weren't. We were looking at girly. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they're able to drop see the ball thrown and react to it very quickly. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Overtime. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. That's a pretty strong return to start this overtime. And you know that if you run some decent offense, you should have a shot at a field goal. But I'd have to think to myself, I want the six points. I want this game over now. I don't want to give the other team a chance to come back and beat me. Eluding the pressure right. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. Escapes the defender. And he's finally out of bounds, but he's taking it all the way down to the eight. A huge play there in time 51 yards defensively now the ultimate challenge of course the ball gets in the end zone this thing's over and i know my coach has always talked about in goal line situations and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points otherwise this wing is done win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense beat that guy across from you and make a play i expect them to attack on defense and not sit back Throw on second down is gone. Escaping the pressure right. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime. A little whipped cream on top. Look at you. Trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just...
Yeah, I'm in the process of working on a few of my um, top players here for this Madden players, Ultimate Team matchup. Trying to get them better. Davis ready to go the right now, I'm just trying to get the gold. Well, the can actually use offensively. And on second down, the offense gets ready to rock. I'm also working on getting Chad Johnson. Maybe I can get the one after this and then trade him. Flushed out right. Some gold. Johnson jostles free. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Yeah, I figured we had enough speed to get the pass in there. Instead, second down. Not only did they drop with like an interception in the end zone, they blew a Should golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Second down following the incompletion. He's back to throw. The quick slam caught. Stop short, down at the one. Had the broken tackle, but couldn't get it all the way home. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and goal. Deciding to throw the ball in third and one. <clears throat> As a defensive player, my mindset is we've got them now, and that's why they dialed up the blitz and got out. I'm sorry, uh, T Sauce is over here watching horror shit. Man. I had my earpiece up, and all you hear is uh, fucking screaming in the background. Just watching uh, Friday the 13th. Or one of the Jasons. Back to throw. Flush to his right. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. 15 yards through the air and a first down. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. And this is caught. Ooh, there we go. And they've taken the lead here in the final. Fix a headset piece, and now we're doing People better. Watching this one right here gave up because that score. They might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The return man here, Dwayne Harris. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to bet he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now Manning. Looking left side and he's got a man. Oh, I was ready to light him up. If he would have juked me, he would have been gone, though. As we're under 10 seconds to go. And now, how do you play it offensively? We'll find out. Back to throw, Manning. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. The Pro Bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. 
These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He's going to let it fly. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. Charles, a pretty exhilarating finish to the end of this ball game. At the end, the Hail Mary prayers, though, they went unanswered. Could have won it, but couldn't get it done. Almost fell. but now we can sell the old one and update it. So that's a NAT gold. making sure because I'm not trying to get copyrighted for crap. We all know YouTube's on that bullshit. Copyright you for this, copyright you for that, take your video down for that. Where it sounds like they keep getting louder and louder, them sirens. where I can upgrade at quarterback. That's not too bad. I think that'll be my f next move is my center.
This is the uh, Jared Goff we have right now. This ain't too bad. Can't wait to get him on the defensive line. Let's see if they put anything out for these yet. I doubt it. Nope, not yet. Because right now it looks like the team of the year is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. No goats. That's like the legends. If I heard them sirens, I know I'm definitely hearing that jingle in the background. I may end up doing that soon, that Twitch Prime crap. Um, just a heads up tomorrow, anybody that's subscribed follows and views this later, I'm going to be doing Overwatch after they put the update out and release the new uh, loot Charles boxes I settled here for Halloween. In the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate I'll be doing that live. Arcade and then non-stop trying to level up. Offense will look to convert on third down. Come on out. Three nineteen. Three nineteen. Savage on third. Oh, on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked up, oh, oh, fuck. Seal this one. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So a good kick there, and they finish off the drive with three. And that should be the goal for an offense, finish each drive with points. So that's a nice job there to come away with at least something. I think that's one thing they need to fix. That's how, when you get hit, you just stop. I mean, it's kind of annoying. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. 
They go play action here on first down. And no escape. Damn, I threw the pass, down. but didn't even fucking. Zach Cunningham in there to take him down and to take us to the two minute warning. Couldn't catch it. Now third down. Sorry about that. Back to back big play. Sneezing and coughing right the there. Sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that can be used against them. Now go off. Oh my god, are you seriously got what did you get caught up on? You should have been right there to get that pass. I gotta look at that real quick. Sorry about that. Just want to see if I had anybody else hoping I could have thrown them too. Yeah, because I passed it to him right about here. Originally, I was hitting the button. See, so he, he beat this this guy right there. Uh, really? Apparently, they ran into each other. And then it looks like his feet get caught up right there. That was stupid. All right, Let's see if I had any other options. you open to but I threw it right here this is where I initially hit the button it should have it would have went right here and he would have caught it that's one of the mechanics they got to fix the two minute drill, but the coverage equally is good yeah I'd say it was protection both sides right get it for the quarterback make sure you had time to throw the football and he did plenty of time but nowhere to go with hey, it hey I so make coverage, awesome you know, gaming terrific. videos I Tie would appreciate if you watched my videos and here. gave feedback I post actively That shit was creepy. I forgot I have it set up where it'll read it to me. <laughs> I'll consider it, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. teams unit for the kickoff coming up yeah you're exactly right gotta pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win this will be fielded at the six <laughs> and a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35 yard line at the 34 heading out as the Texans offense as they get set to take over here one possession game <laughs> time very much a factor how does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counter. Nowhere to go here. He lost. 
lost the football. And the Rams have got it back. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on. And that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Goff going to throw it. He's throw caught at about the five. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Jared Cook, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he's got room. <laughs> And now out comes Houston. <coughs> Downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. On first and ten, Savage. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a scary incompletion almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve the lead. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one, certainly defensively. Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. And on second down, the offense gets ready to rock. Now it's gone. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. There's gone. The quick slant caught. And he 
is going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Not 100% sure what the fuck just happened right there. Oh. What the hell was that? That was trippy. Did the ball actually break the plane? Yes. That's a catch. I can't so really was possessed on faith, that. Guess what? <clears throat> it got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but... Other side, but... Nothing, fool. I could beast up my uh, wide receiver corpse. I do have Michael Crabtree in the back of one of my other cards. I think he's behind Julian Elderman. I have two Chad Johnsons. I have the one from uh, Longshot, and then I have the uh, one that you get that's a legend. I also have um, Tom Brady as a backup quarterback, and then after that I have Michael Vick. So, I mean, I, I really could just put the best I all that line and I think I'd be like an 82 overall maybe by the time I'm done but I just choose not to do it that way Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis ready for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a peek at some of the big players in today's game, and you're a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. So first Can we get the playoff in time? Gets ready. Play Come on, fat asses. It's a line. It's a line, Goff. Well, well, Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's Goff. 
Jump. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be down deep into go. New Orleans territory. <laughs> A big play there for L.A. And even 40 yards. Really good recognition of the offensive line of the blitz. They picked it up, allowed for more time to throow the ball deep downfield, and a big-time completion. From the red zone now, gone. And he'll get into the end zone. Get up. Rams. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun. Down by watch. Google now. 136 left in the third. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half they start the drive with Peterson and Peterson what happened he lost the football and now the Rams have got it going the other way I know he carries a lot I know he touches it a lot but he does have a tendency to turn it over and sometimes in some real key situations. I just don't see how with that death grip handshake yeah. Adrian Peterson has, I would figure the ball would never pop through. Yeah, you've talked about that a lot, but you give your star like AP a little bit of a break here, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you can talk about those fumbles and then you remember all the gigantic plays that he makes and you learn to live with a few of them. He's had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even to be honest, I really felt that he should have retired instead of going to the, the Saints. I think he kind of regrets doing that. At least I know he didn't get revenge. Like he wanted to in that game. broken tackle run there by Todd Gurley, the 10th pick in the 2015 draft. And that's what you get with him. That full package of speed, power, able to catch the ball in the backfield. Many people doubted him coming out because of the knee injury in college. <laughs> we'll see him the full Todd Gurley now, and it hurts. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. That's how you do it, Aid. Todd Gurley, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Rams use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. On the return, it's Ted Ginn Jr. <laughs> and a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here. Let's go. Another run. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. And he loses the fumble. And another fumble. And the Rams have got it back. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. Okay, after those first two drives... I think there's a head coach who's going to be called for CSI. They're going to want some forensics on this. What is going on with this ball club unable to hold on to the football and take care of it? Yeah, we're, just, we're going to try to put the game away right here. Out. Yeah, you would think that this team would come in ready to go. Sometimes just mentally not prepared, and it shows up in these types of plays. Johnson's got it complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. And the offense here just looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. All right, the Trevor Square. Um, we'll come back to, I don't know, put him across. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shot of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken from the seven. And a good effort on if the they run it again, the 30 to the they're pretty stupid. Line. I mean, now the Saints come offense, on up. They get ready to go back to work here. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good word. I like it. Oh, I got that. Right. You like right. that, don't you? All game long, they struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that really symptomatic? Ah, uh, hold on, babe. All alone. The 20. Touchdown, what? New Orleans. Willie Sneed. Huh? 67 yards. And the Saints yeah, I don't know why. It was just a bunch of score. squares. That was weird. Coming into the year, Breeze, 465 touchdown passes, add another one to the total. You know, it's funny, I just talked with his college head coach, and he told me that when Drew was a sophomore at Purdue, they weren't sure he was truly the starter, even though he started the opening game. He made a play early in that one. But the coach gets And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none. Because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. This one fielded at the five. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't give up. Ah. Up across the 40 and down at the 42 yard well, he line. dodges, though. Now, that's the kind of return yeah, I was having issues with my Twitter. I was just showing a bunch of squares. You do a lot of things on offense. So I had my phone to my fiance and uh, she fixed it. Kind of got a little interrupted. That's all right. Down. It's only one touchdown. Oh, and that one just got sacked. By the Saints, Stephon Anthony from his outside linebacker spot. He comes up to drop him for a loss of ten. We'll use a two minute for a timeout right here. I have. Including that right now, that was a timeout for them as well. It's four. We both have three. I need to get this first down and start taking away their timeouts. Here's Goff now on second down. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. There's one timeout and more. Right out of the two minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The Rams on third down. A perfect three for three there. as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and four. On the handoff, it's Gurley. Oh, well, we couldn't get make it much out of it. On the midfield stripe. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Decision made for Sean McVay. They're going to go for it. Across midfield to the 47. I could have passed and got and a few more yards. Get a timeout but... here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up it. the first down. No offense, Tavon Austin. Throwing now, gone. Shit. Oh, incomplete. A turnover. Well, there's an incompletion really I didn't want to get. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked ah, up. It's a pickup of 16 there to the lead. Wasn't trying to get out of bounds. Try to cut in, but it didn't work in time. Is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Now it's gone. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that That's football. Time run out a little bit here. 
Who the fuck? This match I like. I can do much with it. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Give him a couple on the I only had my rams for this winner. You had the white one, but I don't know what you did with it. You gotta be really careful. You want this one? It's still in the package. I haven't like took it out yet. Wait till it gets done with a one. Throwing it, you don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. That almost felt like the defense said uh, he is not missed time the clock. All right, that's two seconds. Stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard. Yeah, I don't know what you did with it, babe. The only thing I have over here is my hat. Here, just use my rims on. I mean, I haven't even really messed with it yet. I only took it out the package to look at it and then put it back in. I can't wait for my hoodie to come in. <coughs> 13. Get my new hoodie. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that. Out here in uh, SoCal, it gets really cold at night during the, our winter. So sometimes I like to sleep with a hoodie, and I don't like the sun on my face when I wake up in the morning because I cover, cover up, and then I'm going to be working graveyard shift at Amazon. And uh, they normally have the door open, so it's going to be cold. Oh, we were sleeping with it. <laughs> I said, so we were sleeping with it. <laughs> it was probably underneath one of the pillows. You probably had it and you were playing with it and did it put it under there. All right, I'm going to take a small little break. Uh, let this run. Uh, hopefully, I don't start off with the ball. If I do, my fiance will play for me. We're only down by a few points. We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. And now the offense getting ready on second down. They go play action now. Palmer. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Bruce Irvin coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down for a loss of five. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> and this is going to be incomplete. A pretty good coverage there. And both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? 
And now it's the punter Weil on as he sends this one away. It's taken to the 26. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively, now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because Tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease? Alright, she almost threw a pick. She, she forgot to zoom it out like I showed her. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press cover. Grab me a piece of watermelon too. Gurley. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. They're gonna hurry back to the line now. This is Johnson, he's got it. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. All right. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. J.J. Nelson now to return. Uses the stiff arm. Get a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. For their lead, they have seen it <coughs> completely after such a good first half. They've been shut down here in the third quarter. Searching for answers, trying to figure out what it's going to take to get back to where they were Run before. It. The big part of it is that sometimes you don't have to go exotic now. You go back to basics. Being able to run the football, string some things together, some effective passes, try and get a rhythm established again, and try and get back in the lead. Back in the lead, like you said, back to the basics. Oh, they got passed this time. All right. Coach is sink. On second down, Palmer. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. Oh, oh fuck. It was a nice recovery of all three of those guys there. It's probably an incomplete pass, but there. just... No or not. About it. When that ball's out. Well, hold on. He caught it. Ground can't cause a fumble, so it would have been theirs anyway. As a defender, is this is our chance to make a huge play? Instead, he's able to recover his own fumble. And Big usually, sigh of relief. Yeah, usually those wide receiver fumbles have open space for the defense, but not there. I think that was a touchdown. I'm not sure. Uh, is that a challenge? Succession. Not sure this D oh. knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. I figured they were going to run since they got the first down. Come out they fooled the me pistol. on that one. They'll run it with Johnson, and he will not only 
not get the yard he needed. He goes the wrong direction. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They'll look to throw. And that'll be caught by Gresham for a Cardinal touchdown. Jermaine Gresham. I got you, Austin Palmer. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in the fourth. They try and run for it with Johnson. And he will not get there. He comes up short. And they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. Here's Dawson now to kick. Oh, you're watching Michael over. Myers. Oh. <laughs> this will be fielded at the six. Across the 25 and down at the 28 yard line. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive, but they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. Yeah. Like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did know, they oh, maybe not. I fucked up. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Back to throw. Flushed out right. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I think by now it's been demonstrated quite well in the NFL that mobility is an attribute. But when you couple it with accuracy, you've really got something going. Able to get outside the pocket and complete the pass. We're going to be watching Chad over here. Send this guy down and in. Pull that safety up. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. This is caught inside the 15. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first. They've got two more to use. Thanks, Arizona. Final stages. Good looking. Now it's Gurley. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. So many practices that we watched over time where the offense works on scoring late in the game and finding a way to win, as we just saw there. Just saw it right there. Now can they preserve that advantage that they just got? And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. This is what I normally try to do. Went down close near the goal. Let them cover everybody and then go for it. They will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through places. Who was that to, baby? Who was that to? Who? And his crew will take over with a football. Let's look at that one again. I told you I got your number, boy. Like, if you were throwing to this guy, that is just way too high coming out of there. And look at the distance in between. It was just beautiful. And he didn't even get really rushed that much. So I don't, well, kind of. There's a break th th through right there. But he still has a running back to protect him, which he did. So I don't know why he rushed that one. I mean, I think he got scared. I mean, this is the little pressure that I got was enough to make him throw it. Damn! <laughs> Fuck, man, you're an asshole. 
That was some fucked up shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> One more time, I gotta see that again. <coughs> Boom! Get the fuck out of here. That's just fucking. Oh man. This game sometimes, man, it can crack you up in the funniest ways. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And the hole closes yeah. quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36 yard line. And now the Cardinals are going to use another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Winslow, you're going to have to go deep real quick. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Goff with a kneel down here. Ball game. Put a conclusion to this one. What's up, babe? Damn you fine. <laughs> that blood though. Football League, Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week. Are you going to start making your little things or are you still waiting for your package to come in? So you had glue. Oh, what we'll to get you some glue then? No. Yes, we definitely needed that. That that's gonna be a huge help. No, we're not adding it. We're not selling it. Just hit continue. We needed that. I swear, in all these old horror movies, there was always a sex scene. I know, because uh, Michael Myers goes in there and turns the heat up. I forget who walks in there to go check it and then he kills him or whatever. I know one of them burn. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just you, my ass, dude. <laughs> oh, she goes and checks. This is where he done poked up that moment. Hello, motherfucker. Ooh. I forgot. They need to add that in the game. Where he can kill somebody with a rope on Dead by Daylight. I watched you play that game so much. Yeah, the the rope, the wire. I want to play that. Oh, 
Uh huh. That's cool. I mean, his movies aren't that bad. I'm just some awful big hands you got there, Ma uh, Michael Myers. You want to go to breakfast later? Oh, she bit his hand and sucked on his thumb. What the fuck? He pulled his hand away real quick, like, bitch. <laughs> oh. And that heat's still hot as fuck. How does he not bring his hand, though? I mean... Look at her face, see? That's what I'm saying. How is he not burning his hands? I mean, they gotta be a little bit more realistic. You know that shit's hurting him, too. And the rest of her body ain't that messed up. Like, uh, on the, on the, <clears throat> I know he's not true, but they gotta make it more... I'm telling you, if I was a critic, they wouldn't like me. Oh, wrong one. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's just, if I was a critic, I would have talked shit about the movie. Oh, shit, we don't have a gold yet. Fuck. Alright, so should we wait? Or do you want to upgrade? Let's see. Who do we get? Yes. We have that one. We have that one. Oh, this is tempting. That would give us another corner on the outside. Let's go look at the team, and then we'll decide from there. He just got me that pick in the last game. But, uh. We already have a Todd Gurley. I forgot about the purple power up one. Uh, apparently, we can't add him because there's already one in the lineup. Oh well. See, I could make my lineup better just by adding these and have that by putting Michael over here and switching to that Chad. My overall would jump up. This is what we have there. As Austonia, Tom Brady, Michael Vick. Team, but I don't know if I want to do it. 
There's a good look then in Khalil Mack. Because our team really don't have one. I think he's still in... Uh, he may still be arrested, the one that we have, but he's not a red. I know he got uh, arrested for having a gun. See how many more challenges we have until we get our first gold one. Like I said, it, it's a pretty hard decision because you got to think in the long term: is it really going to benefit my team? And we have a few games left, and we actually get one. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and finish this out. We have. That one we can win. That one we can win. That one we can definitely win. And we already know we can win this one. So there's no doubt on these. And then we get some more coins. Maybe we can find somebody cheap. Alright, let's do it. Still gotta get my stadium. I don't think I have it yet. And now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon God and Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the controls. Let's play. Oh, we're actually winning this one, so it makes it even easier. For the Eagles on first and ten. They're ready to roll. Gotta watch him because he can scramble. See somebody over there near that tight end. 
He's back to throw. Ertz over the middle. And he'll get oh, it here to the 10-yard line. 10 yards on oh. the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Now Wentz signaling frantically. Let's get to the line. Back to throw. That's complete right around the eight. Ooh, and damn, we hit the fuck out of him. Ertz and the names that end in TZ. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up the first down. Spread that out a bit. Back to throw. Wins. He takes it across for the Damn. touchdown, right. and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Good field position right there. I was going to try to take it to the house, but wasn't able to. on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. Let's try this. Just in case that fails, it will go to you. Flush to his right. Now a desperation throw. Deep Shit. All right, yeah, that failed. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed him. Instead, second down. But still need one completion for field goal range. And just think about what they're going over in the huddle right now. Make the catch, get out of bounds. That's going to be tough to do. So make the catch, get up to the line of scrimmage, and clock it to have one last shot. Eluding the pressure right. This time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get to the line. Come on. 16 and the drive will continue. Johnson straight up. One last throw here for Gaul. A swing pass caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Matter of seconds left. Touchdown, touchdown. Yeah, I know only one of them counts. But the comeback win. Looks like it's going to lead to a victory. I know we're not supposed to count anyone out, but with that little bit of time left on the clock, it'd take almost a miracle for them to lose this one. It would, and I, this is going to sound cliche. It's been such a great game. You just hate to see one side lose, but, hey, they earned it. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Win by four is not bad. Wish I would have been able to stop him and then went up and scored anyway, but that's all right. Oh, yeah. So what I'm actually going to try to do is I'm going to try to save up, get these uh, last bit of gold uh, coins here. And uh, what we're going to try to do is buy our center. Um, hopefully we'll have enough. So we get a defensive player, automatic. We should be able to get a gold little um, token for the Rams. I'm hoping it happens that way. I'm not 100% sure. Or they may give us the gold token to actually let us get our player. Uh, not sure how they're going to do it. Oh, we'll just automatically get one of our pick. Should be helpful. I may end up going after a safety. Even though he's no longer with us, they decided to waive him. He struggled early on, and they're going to let the rookie take over. Saves us a little bit of money. And then we uh, added a wide out, Mike Thomas, which wasn't that bad of a wide out for us last year either, but I'm just hoping letting our uh, safety go wasn't the worst thing we could have done. I mean, some people do struggle, but uh, at least we could have traded him for a draft pick or something. I mean, he's now he's on waivers. 
But I have faith in our team. Here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here. Last year he was the most feared safety too. And that's what I just don't get. But some people have a good year and a bust. And the offense gets set here for a third down play. Play action. Now Wilson. Taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39 yard line. Aaron Donald coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. And that's how we roll. Buck Seattle. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. I'm sorry if any of you guys are from the returner, is this one will be fans of the Seattle Seahawks that watch me, but fuck spot. them. I can't stand them. It's just that. Hate relationship. Now golf on first down. Get the Over fuck off me, bitch. Twenty three yards on the play. Shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Ooh. Where's Cam at? Okay, he's right there. Now it's gone. That escapes the sand. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it was. That was my error. Now that's absolutely terrific technique right there by the corner. Exhibit A. Zone coverage. Newer I was looking for where Cam Chancellor was, and then I was trying to get it to Johnson. From the gun on third down. Like right here. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage. Must be Earl Thomas right out. there. To make sure you have a chance, get your kicker out Hang there. Up the to do this. Oh, watch out for Bobby. On first down, gone. Escaping the pressure right. And he gets it down to the 32. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him, and so they just put him in Teflon and got him this way. Should Second have Cook down, open. Oh. Oh. Cook wasn't and opening enough time. Take it there. Lop this to get away from Cam. There's Earl Thomas right there. I think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. And they run that quick cut on the slant. And often get open, girl. There we go. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. The offense just scored and took the lead with two minutes to go in the game. Now it's up to the defense to make it stand up. From the gun, here's gone. It's complete, and he is into the end zone to bump the I was originally going to go under for Gurley, but then Cook got wide open right there, or Chad Johnson. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky, because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one That play away. just happened so quickly. I'm trying to end this quickly so we can get the uh, stuff we need. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. The Seattle now ready to march onto the field. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense. Pit, 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 pit. There we go. There as it's intercepted. Shot to march down the field with six seconds. 
with a nice lead, and now all of this. What's happened? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Right, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I, I don't know Earl exactly Thomas. what happened, because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple of things go wrong, and it's hard to get there. that good feeling. Goff now looking to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and it's second down. Incomplete pass there is probably the best scenario going because if he catches the football, clock's probably going to run out in that situation. We just had a little bit more time in the pocket. Um, I had a plan, but I think it's to execute it. Throwing now, gone. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Oh, shit. I'm still trying to catch it. He's still throwing to the very end. But now oh, well. Game is over. I wanted to put more points on him. In the National Football League, Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. Alright guys, I'm really hoping this is going to come out good. Got a chance to get a big quick sale and I'm hoping we do because if we do we can get a few players out of it. So I'm kind of really excited about opening this pack. I think I'm actually going to open it later. Just keep you guys in suspense. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's better than nothing, right? Probably should have opened it later. I was hoping to at least get a little bit more than that. At least a five would have did pretty good. So that's alright, we'll get that right here. Like I said, we're trying to get closer to getting that center. Because then our whole O line will be Rams. Let's go beat the shit out of the uh, Tennessee Fags. I mean, Titans. I'm still wondering. Let's just play this through real quick so he's done talking. Alright, we have the ball. Yes. I'm still wondering uh, what team Paint Man's going to end up coming back and GMing for. If it's Cleveland, I wonder if I doubt it. I'm just I'm wondering. It could be us, it could be Tennessee. I think that's what they were saying. Let me just go back and check that. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Flushed out right. That was my fault. I took a little time to get the ball out. Um, and the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. 
Well, they've got the slim deficit, decided to go for it, hoping to keep the football score and erase that deficit. But, boy, deep in their own territory like that? Let's just say that with that call, me and the head coach will agree to disagree. All right? But he knew he wanted to be aggressive there, as you pointed out. So I guarantee he told his defensive coordinator, have you guys up and ready. I'm willing to go for it here. If we don't get it, just make sure they're ready to go out there and bail us out. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's News the on Peyton Manning becoming the GM. you got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind that it will also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Now Mariota. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Eric Decker was the intended receiver at its third down. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five, that's a whale of a game. Another incompletion would certainly be ideal defensively. A big play now. This is third and ten. Throw it, Mariota. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And the return will stop them well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful. And sometimes yeah, it was just something I'm seeing. So just not sure if it's true or not, so I'm trying to look into it right now. After the interception, here's gone. Got his man. Ooh. That's cool. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. I mean, I wouldn't be as shocked if he went one and back and wanted a head coach. Looking to score some points, I don't know about being a GM. I mean, he mainly knows a lot of offense, but who knows? He could be good at it. Off on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. That's caught inside the 20. A huge play that time for the Rams. 54 yards. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They try right side here, Gurley. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And they're trying to line up quickly. I'm mean, having to redo this, I'm not sure yet. So I, my mind was on something else. I drop back, drop forward, trying to throw the ball, but never went out anywhere. And I'll show you again that it's just devastating how this mechanic system works. Look at this. Drop back. Oh, oh, I didn't even. Yeah, right here. There's, there was the arm going back. As you can see, but he just holds it. And that happened with a lot of quarterbacks. It's not just him. My target. Was right here. Look at that.
Jazz Booths, but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations. I think he did right there. Oh, I agree with you totally. Sometimes you have to understand situations. Get rid of the football, save some yardage to make it less to gain for the next down. Instead, he was so hipped on ball security, he held on to it and took a big Oh, Chad, you just killed me right there, man. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you talk about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. And that is income. All right, we're just going to have to restart it right now. Play the Titans offense now. They get ready to do battle again here. I need to get back in this shit. Twice. Uh, those were all on me. Especially that touchdown I let it happen. And the offense gets set here for a third down play. All right. <clears throat> Fuck me, man. Fuck me over. Throwing on third. Golf. He's going to air one out. John. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, L.A. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the secondary. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to it. And look what resulted. A touchdown. Tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead. So here comes the kickoff now. All even here in this fourth quarter. Here's Eric Weems now on the return. See, the Rams have this ability. We have Sammy Watkins, which is another great wide receiver. He can get down there. He's quick. You also got Robert Woods that's fast. You got Tavon Austin that's fast. It's just that we got to get used to the wide receivers we have and not let the defense get into our heads like we did against Los uh, I mean, uh, Seattle. Like, we controlled them the whole first part of the game. That second quarter, we just came out and we let them get into our heads. We almost came back and won it, but a couple of drop passes. The last pass that shouldn't have been thrown. Murray fighting, lost the football. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through, and picks him up, and avoids the turnover. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Once we get that fast and safety at the corner, and that O line adjusted a bit. I have some more time to do a few other things. It's getting past it and allowing that we also need that left end. I, I probably go get Camille Mack. Really well Good addition with Aaron Donald. Or maybe we'll get a team of the, team of the, team of the week. Ram. So, like I said, I want to keep my team all Rams, but I need to win games too. <clears throat> and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It'll be a gain of four, and that's going to lead to a third down. Throwing is Mariota. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now, and defensively, Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your We're gonna go under the right all play one play yeah, drive get open exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful on right there. not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Underneath again. Goff now to throw. On the right 
side. This is Austin with a catch. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And the offense <clears throat> lining up first and 10. Underneath the Johnson. Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to We're use gonna go to here in the final stages. Actually, hold up. I don't think it's open. I'll go to him. To the air again. Gone. And this is caught. It's Edelman. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. All right. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Throwing again is gone. And well, that's going to be caught. Touchdown. And they've broken our tie here in the final minute. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. He's got a man complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. I got 83, I got 83. Me, me, me. Ah. He'll look to throw. Oh, I clicked on the wrong person trying to get the joiner to pick it. The veteran Harry Douglas, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. You better not have put me in fucking nickel defense again. Not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Please don't tell me it's safety. Tough with great anticipation. Ooh. I know some teams are leery about playing cover two because a strong safety is not usually a terrific cover guy. But in this case, he played it perfectly. Read the football and went and made the interception. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And they take a knee. I may actually do a connected franchise with the Rams for everybody to see. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's Are you checking Overwatch? They put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number Babe. of points. Continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. Hmm? They think that they can bottle it, this. They may not even just do an update. It may just automatically switch. So. You just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, oh. pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. <laughs> You look you're bored over there, huh? You want to do my first, uh... Well, I don't like being this. 
I don't, I don't know if I want to be a survivor, though. You're going to go to sleep right now? I, I still got to stay up. Playing my last game right now on the, uh, in the stream, and then after that I'll end it, and then if you want to watch a movie or play a game, I'll play with you. Shouldn't take long. It's against the San Francisco 49ers, and we all know they suck. Yeah, but you gotta stay out with me. Go make some coffee. The other two over there, too. I'm not going to lie. A lot of teams that went through free agencies after being with teams for years that Charles Davis ready for didn't really win and then going with a team that turned beat. around well actually won a little bit better and you're a big player in today's game as well I mean I know the they want to do it to make the money and stuff and they try to go where the money's at but I know some of you they definitely want to go out and try to get on a team that's a winning team I know I would and the offense readies for a first down and ten can't say too much but that's why I don't blame when we lost a lot of our players now a first down throw gone a lot of them we should have resigned he gets it left side but you know and he goes down especially Kurt Warner after we won our Super Bowl should have kept him so I'm hoping we keep Aaron Donald Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. A beast. This game has the feel of what a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving oh day. You know, when we get together this year and the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's gonna look like. And he's gonna take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Tavon Austin, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Rams are able That's to why I may end up adding for Will Mack to my defense because that the front end. Down to a field goal now. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the left end. I mean that RE spot the right end. Team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Hide as they begin on the ground. And Ooh. he'll get this up only to about the 33. A gain of three, second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And, almost and the reason why I was talking about that, because Frank Gore was originally a 49er. So and then, then he went the to the Colts. Get closer and smother it. Just Hasn't really been that successful. Carry number 20 here for Hyde. Ooh. And some space here. That first if he was going to do that, he should have done that earlier on and we went with Peyton Manning. Carlos Hyde on that run, able to pick up something there, being physical running the football, but I think he's got really good vision and great feet. He's going to be the key to this offense really being revitalized. First down, a run with Hyde. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stop at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. And I'd rather see a lot of our guys retire as Rams. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. Woohoo, we got that false start jump. There we go. Second and 15. Now we just got to play. Play the pass. And if they run it, we got something for it. Yeah, I forgot to fucking run. Penalty, it's high. 
And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. A well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled. Oh. The, one the offense really wanted to run through. And that was filled Fuck by a big you. man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow on AD. Runs, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the ball. Somebody hit him, somebody hit him. There. Down to about Ooh. the 22 here. Nine yards. Fuck this guy, 100 there, yards. They'll have a second and one. Boy, what would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts right. over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Back now in Los Angeles. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal to separating these two right teams now. as we get set for the fourth quarter. Let's run a 3 4. Possible run in anticipation. Here is the D line sandwich. Together. Boyer. Yeah, it'll fuck your phone fast. Yeah. Just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Hoyer to McDonald for a 49er first. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. So the D line's going to spread out. Hoyer going to hand it off to Hyde. We need an interception to force a fumble right inside here. The 10 to the 8 yard line. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's going to get it down to the two-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Let's go to 4-4. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get oh, no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Jeremy Curley, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers add six to their lead. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Gold now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about Still the 37 yard line. Even if I score so right here, you know. As their offense comes back out, and they with a long time to get the football back, probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed, which you were looking for. Hey, hold on. Let's get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On first and 10, golf. But nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great Only if I was able to hike it when those other players were still moving. Second down. That would have been perfect. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, and it's third down. When we start looking for big-time corners, we're going to start with athleticism. But without technique, you're not going to make plays as one we just saw there. Goff throwing again. Sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. DeForest Buckner able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. That shit right there. Go for it here on fourth down. 
So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Pushing his way through. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They'll get 23 yards there. And it'll be a Los Angeles first down. Cook. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. To throw on second down is gone. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have got this back to a one-score game. A big play coming now for the Rams as they'll go for two. Back to throw. Fuck. Come on, Austin. I needed you to come through and you fucking dropped it. Fuck. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. This one fielded at the five. Then he'll take this across the 25. Right, at least we still have all three timeouts. 27 yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before. And all the ball's out. Hyde fumbled it. And the Please tell me we got it. Ah, oh, damn it. Back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game. It's in the same fucking play. Disaster. Come on. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing... Not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. Again, it's high. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. And the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be Minute back. two. I think I can get it down the field. Question is, it's getting point. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. They'll look to set up his blockers. Ah. So possession goes over here on the punt. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. So this. Wow. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. He's back to throw. Austin's got it left side. And he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line. A good pick up there at 22. Back to throw. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the eight yard line. A very solid gain of 27. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Well, we've seen some lead changes, and it certainly appeared that one of these squads was in full control of the game, but that's not the case after that touchdown. And they erase a two TD deficit here to grab the lead. <laughs> Kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is Come on, guys. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Now on the return. Oh, no. The ball is loose. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. 
So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams, <laughs> keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. This one fielded at the five. I'll take another one of those if you can get one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back, and then score again. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by David Good game, Anderson. good game. Nice job. I believe that is challenge met and defeated from where I sit. Congratulations. Good job on this Madden Ultimate Team solo challenge. Good fucking ribbons. Tips pack. Alright, so you guys see the malt tips? Just got both of those. Gotta be careful because some of these, some people just quick sell these and sometimes they're actually meaningful to um, packs and stuff. So you gotta always check that. And I just hit continue. I sell them when I desperately need to. Okay, what the, oh, we hit X, oh, shit. Alright, gotta unpack, we hit circle on that on accident. And now we get to do our pick. This is the guy we just put on waivers. We all know him and love him. Todd Gurley. Alright, this would fill a hole that we need. Even though he had a struggle, everything, this is a video game. It may not be as bad. But, uh,. We can get his red version, which isn't bad. We already have a Todd Gurley. We already have him too. <sighs> have, have, have. We have a solid linebacker spot. We're just going to take the fast and safety here. Just playing it smart, playing it safe on this one. Uh, even though he did struggle and his own waivers technically released by the team, I still want him. Just because in a video game his stats are still pretty decent. So, And then I'll have an 80 overall back there. This will bring up our defense by a crap ton. Because right now. Okay, I hit continue. I meant to. Something else. So we're going to go look at the team right now. We have a 75 sitting back there. Now we'll have five more to it. So we got an 80. And it'll be defensively. So as you see that, we had him as backup. So let's go ahead and put our new safety in there. Okay, okay, so we'll have to manually do it. Alright, 
right, so there you go. He goes up to an 81. And now we're going to do the swap here. Now our team jumps up to an 80 overall. So, as you now see, the blue lights up across besides these two. And this is what I'm talking about, about that left end, and then we get that other defender over here. I mean, he'll be an 80, but still, he's team of the week. He may end up going up a few extra. I mean, he went up a few. And the reason why I went with the fast and safety instead of getting him again is just because he would go up just by one. And, uh, who's the other person we could have got? And I have an 80 right here. He would have probably went up to an 81 as well. But, like I said, I went with a position that we needed to fill instead. Need to fill this left end spot. I'm hoping that they uh, end up increasing his stats seriously because he's a really good player I mean kick return defensively maybe we can get a player of a week out of him and they'll put him up to about 80 and like I said right now left end wise I think ours is still in jail I don't I'm not too up to date on that. And then we have our 83, me and Joe Green. And offensively, you guys already seen what we can do. Just solidating this position here. If we could, if we could pull Sammy Watkins, I would uh, pretty much replace anybody between wide receiver two and one. I'm mainly trying to get a thing, like I said, I can increase this right now just by swapping this and then swapping the Chad. But his catch is just not, it's, it's not there. He drops a lot of freaking passes. Ah, oh, where's Tavon? Tavon's just a little bit lower than him, but the speed difference and, um, that's pretty much the only difference, him being a little bit shorter, able to get underneath the defenders, make a catch. He's an 88 overall. That's the only huge difference between the two. I mean, as you can see, the stats are better over here besides the speed and exclusiveness. Or, yeah, that's, what that's, that's how that's said. So it's not too bad off. And then I did it for the move, moving the chains because you got one, two, three, four, five. That's about it. Just that chemistry build right there. Because every card apparently they they did it weird. I mean, if a team should we try to focus on one it's kinda hard that's why you're trying to activate as many as you can I guess so you get the bonuses for it because what you want to do is just get the, the 80, the 83's, the, the 90's and everything else and that's what we're gonna try to do here let's go check and see if we can find our center And then we'll get another cornerback and try to auction or trade someone. How much is this guy going for? Eh. Just wondering because I have him. I tried trading him, but people don't want him. He moves the chains too. And I may end up adding him just to see if we can get that that up there. Uh, let's go look at the Rams now. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Only if he was LE. That's actually not bad. 
Probably could find him a little bit cheaper. But Jermaine Johnson, I mean, he's better than that. And there would be a kicker. That would help us out a lot, too. There's the Jared Goff again. And see, there's Sammy Watkins. That's who we really need. That would be a huge push for our team. And then here's the center. So we're going to go ahead and buy him. Just to give that offensive line our boost that we need. He should go up to about an 85. Yeah, I figured. Fuck you too. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, cause it, I don't know why, but he, he was pretty good for Kirk Cousins too. And that's the reason why he was brought here to us. Uh, let's see, we got 4,000 left. Go buy now and look at some other players here. Actually, let's see if we can get a get a quality left in. See who all pops up. An elite one, at least. Eh. Oh, it stands out here, but he's a little out of price, and he just kind of fucked us up last week. Fucking bastard. Dirk Wolf ain't bad either. Yeah, let's go check out our, our Ram one. He's a 76, let's compare with the one we have. Uh, yeah, over here. Speed difference, strength. And then he should go up. It's a it's really a tough call. It would add into our tier, but that's it. It ain't too big of a push. All right. So let's pull you out of here. Yeah, he goes up to an 85. And then we'll have Rams all the way across. Which is perfect. I'm hoping one of our right guards end up having a breakout. Because I could use an elite one. Just team of the week or something. Just get them up there to about an 80. Because, like I said, it, it doesn't really matter about the O-line. The defense could have a really good O-line. But as long as you have at least time to throw the football, you're good. And then if you have wide receivers out there, and their corners aren't that great, or the linebackers are not covering the tight end well enough. You have that as well. Speaking of that, actually, let's try to see if we can. Because I would like to put a ram here too, but I don't think that's possible. Because I know we actually released ours and they're on the practice squad. Not even, we don't even use a fullback, apparently. Just didn't fit in. I thought Sam Rogers would have been really good. 
this first year he should have played, to be honest. The way he looked in college. The option to throw to him, him down the field blocking. I mean, that's the reason why we went for him. I was excited for him. And then we fucking released him, waved him, and then picked him up and put on a practice squad. I mean, that's what we need. But apparently Shane McVay has a uh, different opinion. Because if my offense is going to struggle and you know, my wide receiver wants more of the football, then you got to add that duo here. I only have this guy only because he increases the pass. Like Sometimes I'll pass out to him, but he's not the greatest fullback. He kind of sucks. I'll show you his stats. His speed is crappy. His awareness is crappy. His run block is crappy. His catch is at 69. He's more if I want to run with him type of guy. I just got him because he's an elite and somebody that stands out right there for right now. He has no purpose, really. It doesn't fit my scheme. Alright, let's go get uh, Tremaine Johnson. Damn, that fool's at 90 right there. What the fuck? No way. He would be an 89. Well, that's crazy. I like it. He's an 89. Let's put him there and see what happens. Does he get a bump or... Oh, nope. Oh yeah, he, he gets a bump to 90. Actually, let's do it. Let's get rid of Ronald Blair. We'll bring in the other guy. Uh, we can get rid of this guy, too. That gives us more space. Fuck it. Why not, right? Give this more of a little bit of a boost. It ain't much, but what the hell. Can't hurt us. It's just a little bit of gold. Coins, m Madden, gold, whatever. I, know, I can call it. Ow, it hurt. She kind of pulled my. Damn, that's pretty cheap. Forty-three thousand for that. Eighty-five overall. That's shocking. Especially for who it is. Shocked people ain't charging an arm and a leg like they're doing for everybody else. It's pretty cheap too. Man, this guy was good for us, but I don't know what happened. He got hurt, and I think that was the end of his career. We ended up releasing him. Sad. There's an RE, but I need a left end. See, this is the original center right there. And he was just a 75. That's the reason why we went with the guy that we went, just to get more protection for Goff. Now, he was player of the, um, on the outsider, so we ended up getting him. Nice to get a hold of Jerome Bettis or Marshall Falk. Falk. 
Yeah. He's an eagle, if I'm not mistaken. Now. Todd Gurley. That's what I need right there. There's another one I could use. Alright. Because yeah, if you look at the fullback position, I'll show you get to you right now. Well, apparently there is none right now. There's the uh, white ounce. I wonder if I was to buy him if that would increase anything, but right now I'm working on Chad Johnson. Tight ends. Where's Tyler Higby? Oh, what? No, man, that should be, he should at least be up to gold. Well, this one's not bad. Eighty one, damn, yeah. But it ain't by much though, so it's not too bad. What's the catch? Oh uh, yeah, he got him in the catching. Run block as well. The release. It's just a few and spectacular catch. Catching traffic, route running. It's not too bad. But Tyler Higby is definitely better than what they're showing on here. And we all seen that in the game against Seattle. Like I said, they have their days, man. Sometimes they'll do really, really well. It's like a right guard position right now. Waiting for them to have a breakout. Uh, let's see. Left guard position too. Oh, yeah, we have somebody good there. All right. Let's check your defense attack position. I want to get this guy. Well, this guy right here is what I really, 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 really want. At 90 overall, that motherfucker's just gonna bust it down line like it's nothing. It's like, whose house is this? Alright, let's just go ahead and do what we said we were gonna do. Left in. Boom. Like I said, we only have pretty much one C by now. Cheapest one is this one. I gotta lose that much gold. He'll be a 77. I'll bring some some more pressure from that outside spot right there that he's gonna be playing in. Just hit continue. Still can't ever affect this fool, uh, fuck this hand up. Doing fireworks. Wait, still pretty good. Let's look at some. Alright, let's go do one more thing and then we'll do our new adjustment to our team. Alright, so let's see what it, what it would cost to upgrade our coach. Probably gonna need a gold one, huh? Want two silvers? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and remove that guy. <laughs> Screw.
grub ass coach. Uh, I think that's when I was just testing it. I'm glad they added that in the new update where you can remove things. I thought that I think that was pretty cool. Um, what does this tier do? Oh, you need another silver. All right. That's uh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Stadium. We could get a stadium right now. I think we're gonna hold off. What is this? Uh, we'll move it. Yeah, that's back when I thought that you can like get any stadium you want by trading in a stadium, and it just didn't work. So I bought it, not knowing what these did at first, and that was my noobish days. Uh, same thing with the head coach. I didn't know any better. <laughs> Figured you use whatever to upgrade. You know how you could do like the training on the Madden Mobile. That's what I was doing. That's right. I I didn't do your tier. I decided to go after a different Bronco. <laughs> It'll be a 75 overall, then he'll get to an 80, 85, 85, and then 88 max. That's horseshit. Alright, so he'll be a 76 for us if we get him right now. Uh, or we should wait and let's see. Aaron Donald would go up to an 84. We just need that and a gold. That sucks. I guess he's gonna be our, our big prime time guy. Like I said, we need that save up and get Aaron Donald, which I think is a pain in the ass. I haven't really competed in any of the actual onlines, so there's Andrew Whitworth. I'm a little skittish on doing it because of the fact that let's see. And eighty, and I would need the gold. See, that's the thing. That's cool because I already have the red one. So I would just add that, and then those, and then that would give me Todd Gurley eighty four overall. Let's see what I need? Yeah. So it would be the tier 3, to, let's see what we would need to do tier 4, damn he goes up to tier 5, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, now we would need the legendary, ooh so we will end up getting that, okay, so eventually like I said we're pretty much going to need to start making coins by selling and trading crap because uh, then we need the 91 or 87 get a 92 which would make him a 93 overall later down the road so I'm debating on holding off on Tremaine just because we already have an increased secondary and literally you have to gold and silver to get that And it'd be, like I said, it'd be a 76. But we would drop down. 
I think it's worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and buy the first one. It'll be a 76. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I don't know. Let's find out what happens. Dun dun dun. All right, let's move that shit from set. So it looks like we're saving. So we don't have that stars. Um, we could get it real quick, but then we'd have to turn around and spend another fucking coin. So we're gonna hold off on that. We'll save it and do use it for the team leaders instead. Let's see what. Let's go to the rooms. Make a decision which one right now. Said so Todd Gurley would be a huge asset. We just need a gold one. All right, so it would be Robert Quinn. Coleman, Mark Barron, Alexander, which we got, Todd Gurley. To be honest, it would be better just to get them all again. Because as you see, certain ones do go up. Nah, it would be better if we just started buying gold rams, I think. See, do we have any over here to put in the place? Nope. Here, say, say, here. We have our gauntlet champion, too. Did they add this yet? I'll oh, collect them all. It's Pick your own pack. Oh, okay. So I had to complete these fuckers too. That's oh, fuck. See, they don't even have a full thing. I mean, that's your Twitch cards you could get. It's it's worth it, though, I think. I mean, 90 overalls. They're probably gonna end up adding more. I mean, I need to. Oh no, this is actually worth it more because you're getting a 93. Hmm.
see if they updated their uh, live challenges yet. Nope. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. Um, stay tuned for next time. Still got things I can probably do and complete. Let's look through this. Yeah, and then I think you end up earning a player at the end of this. Yep. Devontae Adams. Uh, do you earn a player each time that you do it? What the fuck? Let's get reward packs. Ooh. Ooh. This is interesting. We'll have to look into that later. Alright guys, stay tuned. Um, sorry for the long ass video. Hopefully you guys aren't bored. Probably will be. Who knows? But um yeah. Have a good one.